What's going down, everybody? This is Bronco Juggalo, and I am here with another Bronco Juggalo Top 10. I decided to do my Top 10 favorite comic book characters of all time. Now, this is straight comic book characters. They had to get their origins in a comic book. Not in other mediums. Not anywhere else. They couldn't have been made into a comic book later. These are people that were, or characters that were from comics. They may have branched out, whatever, or may have not have, but still got their origins in comics. Strictly comic characters. And since I have an entire comic book shop at my disposal, I decided I wanted to do this film in here where I could show you some comics. Coming in at number 10, we have The Huntress. Helena Bertinelli. Love The Huntress. Absolutely one of my favorites. She is one of the three key members of the Birds of Prey, and I love her. Coming in at number 9 is another member of the Birds of Prey. That is The Black Canary. Now, this may not be the quintessential Black Canary book for you know, showing her badass fighting skills, but I just like this cover. It's the soft side of me, what can I say? And I do mean the Dinah Black Canary, not the Laurel. Coming in at number eight, we have Wolverine. Always been a huge Wolverine fan. In fact, when I was a kid, Wolverine was my absolute favorite. It's changed a lot over the years, but he's still in that top ten. And I love this cover. By the way, I hated the movie Logan, because Wolverine cannot die, period. He cannot die. He is an immortal. Get that through y'all's heads. Not you fans, you Hollywood. Even the Wolverine dies storyline was kind of stupid because he comes right back. And at number seven, we have Nightwing, also known as the original Robin, a.k.a. Dick Grayson. I love him in all three iterations. I love Nightwing especially more, and that's what I graded it on was which character do I like better in which persona. So Nightwing is my number eight. And Nightwing is my number seven because I actually have another Robin that's higher up on the list. Speaking of which, that would be my number six, Robin Tim Drake. This is my favorite Robin. Absolutely love him. I don't like what they've done with him lately, turning him bisexual and all that. Again, I can't believe I have to state this, but it is 2024 and I don't want anybody to cancel me like I give a fuck. Robin, or any character for that matter, that is already established should not be fucked with. If you want to make a bisexual Robin, fine. Name somebody else Robin. Make Damien bisexual. He's only a little kid. When he gets older, he can be bisexual. Tim Drake was never a bisexual. To just make him one all of a sudden after all this established history makes no sense. That's all I want is making sense. But you know what? People are going to think what they're going to think and they can say whatever they want about me. I don't give a fuck. Let's get on with the list. Number five is Lady Death, the Hell Lady herself, the awesome, immortal, white-blooded killer. And I say white-blooded even though she's probably, well, I guess she is red-blooded, but she's all, like, white, uh, chalky looking. Whatever. I'm stumbling over my words here. I don't know what the fuck to call her, but I love her. I love Lady Death. And at number four is The Joker. My favorite bad guy of all time. The coolest bad guy ever created. And just an all-around awesome chap. I love that cover. Coming in at number three is my favorite female character of all time. And I like her in both personas. But if I had to pick my favorite as Batgirl, it would be Stephanie Brown. That's my favorite Batgirl. But she is Batgirl, the original Batgirl. And she is also my favorite persona Oracle. I love her as Oracle. I thought her being in the wheelchair, being handicapped, overcoming, and just becoming a badass from a wheelchair is awesome. I mean, she carried multiple comic books from a wheelchair. That's pretty dope. Coming in at number two may surprise some people, but number two is Batman. Ain't that cover sick? Yes, Batman is my number two, not my number one. What more can I say about The Dark Knight? Coming in at number one, we have my favorite comic book character of all time, Booster Gold. I'm just kidding. And if you're wondering why I put that up, it's because I couldn't find any comic books with Booster Gold in my shop right now. I know I have a couple. I just don't know where they're at. My number one is Spawn. The original Spawn, Al Simmons. There has been others over the years. There's Medieval Spawn. There's the new Spawn that took over after Al. Spawn comes back. You know, Al comes back. But 
This is my favorite character of all time. And last night on my stream, I almost sold off my entire spawn collection, um, which is bittersweet, but I, you know, it is what it is. This is an Alex Ross cover. It's dope as hell. Virgin cover. Gotta love it. Spawn, in my opinion, is the greatest character ever written. He's the best thought out character. He puts a lot of characters, including ones that I love, like Batman, even Superman. And yes, Superman wasn't on my top 10, but I still love him. He puts all those kind of characters, those original characters, almost to shame. It's like Todd McFarlane looked at everything that was wrong with the characters that were there and made everything right in Spawn. Just what I think. Nobody has to agree with it. In fact, I'd love to hear your top 10s, especially from you comic book folk. This is Bronco Juggalo saying peace.